Hey, what's happening? My name is Coyote, and today we're here to talk about the do's and don'ts of dungeon etiquette. You don't want to be a troll when you go into your first dungeon, or maybe you're an experienced person diving deep into these dungeons, and you're probably doing some of these things that are going to make your party mad at you. Well, I'm going to help you out and make sure that you get invited back. Let's get to it. Stupid Coyote. There are plenty of players that are coming into the game for the first time, and they finally get to run a dungeon, and they're super excited. But... They really just don't know what's going on. Now, for some of you longtime players, you're like, well, we've been doing this for years and this is how we do it. And you've, you're right. But now it's time to pass that knowledge down because some of these people just don't. Let's start with the do's and don'ts of running dungeons. The first one is come prepared. All right. Make sure you're bringing food and water. And maybe if you need some pots for it, like an invis pod, if you're doing some retail dungeons, or maybe you're just doing a classic SOD where these videos are kind of catered to. Just maybe have a couple of potions. It helps out, but it's not needed. Food and water is a must. Do not be a jerk and just open trade with a mage and demand things. If you ask your mage, nine times out of ten, they're actually super stoked to make you some food and water. Don't just demand it. If you look in the video, I didn't come prepared. I didn't repair my armor. And so halfway through, I ended up having to switch. It was a part of just making the video. I knew better to go in and get my stuff repaired, but I wanted to show you what kind of happens when you don't. Secondly, make sure you're the right level, all right? To get into the dead mines, it only requires level 10, but just because you can does not mean you should. If you look in the video, it was a little bit of a hard time, but for the purposes of the video, the group was really cool about it. Shout out to those guys. And I had to be more back, so that way I wasn't pulling extra mobs. Things did get out of hand towards the end, when Sneed got pulled, and I was super far away from him. So make sure you're coming in at a decent level, whether you're going into Ragefire or the dun Dead Mines. Next, do some research. Now, classic dungeons, they're pretty basic and straightforward, all right? You're going to go in, you're going to zug zug, kill the boss. If you're doing this in retail, eh, some bosses have a little bit more going for them. So you're probably going to want to make sure you grab either a DBM or big wigs or have a week or a package. If you don't know what those are, you can check out my add on video above. Finally, do some research on your loot tables. Don't go in there and just need on everything because you have a slot to fill. It doesn't help anybody. Make sure you're needing on stuff that you actually need. If it's a minor upgrade on a green, yeah, why not? But if your class can't use it, there's no point in needing on it. Some people run dungeons because they're looking for specific gear from there so they can hit to the Black Fathom Deeps raid. Don't go neat on it just because you're trying to fill a slot. It doesn't help anybody, and it just makes the game overall worse. Next, number two of the do's and don'ts. Know your role. If you're the tank, make sure you have your threat abilities ready. Turn on your Righteous Fury, get in defensive stance. Bears, just do your best. We understand it can be kind of tough. Healers, be ready to heal. Get ready for things to get out of hand. Don't panic. People, things are going to get out of hand. It's dungeons. Make sure you're keeping the people alive to the best of your ability. All right? Be vocal with your party if you're out of mana, so that way they need to stop. If the tank doesn't want to stop, well, it's to his own detriment. Tanks, make sure you're watching your healers. And now for the kings of the dungeons, the DPS. This is everybody's favorite knucklehead and favorite position to be in. Know your role as a DPS. Do what your class allows. Some classes are really good at AoE. Let's look at our mages. And look, some classes are really solid at single target. And we'll talk about our feral druids. Really good characters to, for single target. Do what your role allows. Don't rush in. All right. Let the tank get in there. Generate a little bit of aggro. See some thunderclaps. Maybe a consecrate. Bears, yet again, just do your best with your swipe but let them have that chance to generate aggro. That way you can come in and blow up the meters. And make sure you're following attack markers. Sometimes certain mobs need to die in a certain order. Let's take a look at this clip right here where people weren't attacking Van Cleef. Van Cleef's going to keep summoning these ads, so it's usually best just to burn him down really quickly and then go to the ads. But some groups may do it differently. If your tank or your party leader puts a target marker on something, Make sure you're doing what that says. Our final topic for these do's and don'ts of dungeon etiquette. Be cool, all right? It's just a game, but you're going to have some fun doing it. Don't be a troll to other players, all right? Being cool with other people tends to get you invited back for multiple runs. I've got friends that I started playing TBC Classic with that they're still friends, and we do things to this day on Season of Discovery. I'm going to reiterate this one. 
don't roll on things you don't need. Check your class table over on WoWHUD. Make sure that it's something that your class may need for a best in slot. If it's considered optional, I can kind of see your point on saying, well, you know, I could use it, but if somebody in the class is there that probably needs it, I just give it to them. It will get you invited back, trust me. Don't just open treasure chests, and don't sit on them just waiting for the party to get out of combat. It's a group effort. See if everybody else in the group wants it. Normally, it comes down to a roll-off. You forward slash roll, and the highest number gets it. Or, as you can see here, some members just said, hey, pass, I don't want it. And that's okay, too. Don't just take it from the entire group. Give everybody a chance. Also, don't just sit on it waiting for people to get out of combat so you can ninja it. There's nothing worse than being a ninja in dungeons. My final tip, just be cool and admit if you don't know something. It's all right. Trust me, you don't want to be halfway through a dungeon and admit that you don't know something that you have been wiping on several times. It just makes the party a little bit more angry at you. Hey, look, I don't get what's going on with this boss. Can someone break it down for me? There's plenty of great videos out there, and it goes back to be prepared and do your research. People are going to be more likely to, to accept your faults if you just come out and say, hey, look, I've never been in this dungeon before, or I've never done this fight before. People will explain it. Well, this is what's going to happen. This is what we're going to do, and this is how we'll respond. Appreciate everybody who's watched this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you found any help out of this video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like and share it with your friends. Maybe share it with that guy that just doesn't get what's going on in the dungeons. Why he's not getting invited back. The do's and don'ts of dungeon etiquette will take you very far. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. It's Coyote. Have a good one. Stupid Coyote.